Liverpool's next generation gym is home to UFC fan favorites Patty the Batty Pimblet and Meatball Molly McCann. Since joining the UFC roster, the proud Scousers' boisterous personalities and entertaining fights have really just taken the MMA world by storm. We head to the north of England to find out more about the team in this edition of Battlegrounds. I've been fortunate enough to have trained a lot of really good fighters over the years. Terry Etten, Rosie Sexton, Danny Roberts. We've had different generations of fighters throughout the 20 years that I've been doing this. Patrick Tiny Pimlet representing the next generation gym in Liverpool. For me, the one that kind of always stood out is the loud mouth, skinhead, braces, Patrick Pimlet. Paddy Pimlet, big front kick, surging forward again. When he first started, he was a skinny boy that just had this belief in himself that he was going to be the best ever. Paddy, the Paddy Pimlet! Then I first saw him, I still had a skinhead. A few fights later, he had grew me hair a bit. Okay, Jolly has come to the Echo, and he'd never seen nothing like it. He's not worrying about the foul. Yeah. Looks like he might be fighting some better. You get the sense that you're witnessing something special. We had it in Dublin with Conor McGregor. We might just have it in Liverpool with Paddy the Baddy Pimler. He has always stood out from the crowd. He's got this self-belief you either have or you don't have. He has that abundance. No one ever thought he'd be able to sell that out without the UFC name attached to it, and guess what? He did. Seeing all kids in the Echo Arena going bananas, they were all in here the next week. Found like a, an interest in UFC. It was clear to me that there wasn't anywhere I was going to be able to do it locally. I moved to America in my early 20s. I moved into a gym which was called Next Generation. The Jiu Jitsu they taught was very MMA focused. It became apparent to me that this was the way that I wanted to do things when I got back to the UK as well. I didn't want a gym that was plain and boring because that's not us either. Downstairs, we got like alien graffiti and made it look like it was a spaceship sort of vibe. Okay, guys, if you do jiu -jitsu, let's go, come on. My main qualification or credential is my third degree Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. Obviously, Paul's a heavy set man. People look at him and go, what? Wow, he's not a coach. Come in the gym and watch him coach then. Drop this knee, drag the hip, seat belt, toes, pressure. A lot of MMA coaches are ex-fighters. I had two amateur MMA fights back in the day. I'm not a professional MMA fighter, that's not me. I've always been the other person. It's not my own success that I'm interested in. I'm invested in other people's success. My two right-hand men, my coaches, were also trained by me. Ellis is a phenomenal coach. He said, look, I see you coaching in here. Anytime you want to finish fighting, you come to me and tell me, and from there, you're going to be my assistant coach. In a very selfish way, it's good for us all that Ellis retired because the team wouldn't be doing as good as it is. Now drop, 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 drop. Adam, where he's took a step back from fighting, he's took a step forward in coaching, and we're the best we've ever been now, by a mile. Liverpool's own Meatball, Molly! I'll never forget the first time I seen this skinny little lad with these big braces and he was just all gangly like that. I was like, hi, lad. He's like, I'm Paddy. I was like, hi, I'm Molly. McKell on the shoulders. And Paddy Pimbler there. She's like my big sister and we're there for each other all the time. McKell, big hooks. Yeah, McKell trying to tie up. everything and it's over. They've been friends for a lot of years. They've grown up together. They've been through the sport together. 
They've seen each other's ups and downs. Both of them are genuinely amazed that they're in the position they're in now. They just love it and they just want to share that experience together. The fact that we don't have to go to the UFC on our own always helps. We've seen the past two times and they've been on the same card together. It's been magic. We've created the show and ran away with the show. Well, we are not in London, England, but I'm not sure Molly McCann has ever been this excited to make a walk and compete on the greatest proven ground in the sport. Oh, nice left hand connection and a right for McCann. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, she's she's an animal. Animal. Oh, that's it, Mom. There we go. former Cage Warriors featherweight champion, and tonight he makes his UFC debut. Oh, the big right hand, Benjamini now on the ropes! Oh, 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 the Batty Pimble! Oh, 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 debut! Oh, 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 for Liverpool out of the shoot tonight. They are all on their feet at the apex. Molly McCann has come out. Imagine being able to live your dream with one of your best friends. Yes! There's no act, it's just real. Me and Patrick on the aisle, coming to watch the fight. Oh! 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 That'll do it, Michael Chandler! They're getting flew to pay-per-view events by the UFC to be guest fighters. They're becoming one of them names that People talk about that, don't necessarily know much about the sport, but they've heard of Paddy and they've heard of Molly. Just follow me, just follow me. Follow him, There's a lot of kids in Liverpool now that don't know who the Beatles are, that know who Paddy and Molly are. It's great to see the charity work that they do. Paddy and Molly are both actively involved in so many things. Martial arts is always about paying it forward. I'm a community liaison officer for Weapons Down Gloves Up bringing the community off the streets, putting them into employment and making our area a safer place for the kids to grow up in. I, I hope I do end up earning as much money as Conor McGregor lad. Then no, no child in my city will ever eat from a food bank ever again. If you've got that much money, you should give back to your own community, you should help the people who got you there, because it's not just your own family that got you there and your coaches and the gym that's got you there, it's your environment, it's your local community. I would say UFC London was the highlight of my coaching career so far. There is Meatball Molly McCann, and look at her, absolutely loving it. Beaten, let's get in. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a huge shot. shot. She's done with that. This could be it. Oh, 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 oh. Spinning elbow KO for Meatball Molly. couldn't believe it as much as everyone else in the crowd couldn't believe it. Because she just didn't know how to how to express her feelings of how happy she was. She said she didn't know where she was running. And then there was someone holding a pint to her and someone holding a belt. And usually she'd be taking the pint first, wouldn't she? But she took the belt. Paddy, the baddie, this guy, he is not short on confidence. Big shot! Triangle. He's got the body triangle. Oh, this looks oh. tight. This could be it. Oh. He's done it. Paddy has done it in London. Paul Rimmer has been my coach since I started doing MMA. Paul doesn't do it for money or anything like that. He does it to show everyone how far the students can go. He does it for us. I know I wouldn't be here without him. Molly knows that. It is a carnival atmosphere here in London 02. It's great for the gym because people are understanding that we're real now. People think, oh, the UFC are talking about them on social media, that's what it's about. Uh, eat people are talking about it because of how good we are, and we'll keep proving doubters wrong. 
That's how we roll. Listen, you want equal fans and haters to keep the love, lads. <laughs> to keep the love. These two are a package. If you had one of them on a card, yeah, it'd be electric. But having both of them on back to back, pretty much, and having that experience, it's never been seen in the UFC before. And we see it in the gym every day. It's great every day that you walk in. Everyone wills everyone else to win. Everyone wants everyone to succeed. We're all different types of characters, but we gel well together. We might stand around and have a laugh with each other, but that's because we're all mates. When it comes down to it, our fight results talk for themselves. I don't know what's next for next gen. I'd love it to be UFC world titles. That's going to be in maybe a couple of years. I'd love to see some of the kids coming through the kids' programs. I'd love to see more of my students get the black belts. We're not just about, oh, there's our success, great. We're like, okay, what are we gonna do next? How are we gonna raise the bar? I'm looking forward to seeing what the next 20 years hold for us.